Hello everybody, it's Alicia, and I hope you've had a wonderful week. It's Friday, woohoo! This week went by so fast to me, I have no idea why, but it did. But it's Friday, so I'm gonna try to start doing something on Fridays. I don't promise that it'll be every Friday, um, but I'm gonna try where I just go out and explore some Sims. Um, two requirements though for my exploring. One, the sim has to be free, no group join fee or anything like that, and two, it can't be a primarily shopping sim. Now I know a lot of sims have little stores on them to help offset the uh, cost of owning the sim, which of course is quite expensive, um, but it can't be an event, like a shopping event, and the sim just happens to look good. I would rather just a fun sim that you can just go and explore and uh, do some stuff there. But we are coming up on my 10 year anniversary in Second Life. Not under this avatar, I actually started on another avatar. And I'm going to talk about all of that on Sunday for my Let's Chat video where I just kind of talk about how I came to Second Life and why I'm still here after 10 freaking years. Um, all the good stuff, but we'll talk about that on Sunday. So I wanted to go to a sim that was old. And unfortunately, a lot of the really old, great sims no longer exist. Um, like I said, having a sim in Second Life is a pricey project. It really, really is. And so a lot of them don't stick around after a while because if you don't have a store on it or a shopping event or something like that, um, people don't usually go. And which is a really kind of a sad thing. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like Second Life in the past 10 years have just gotten really, it's really commercialized now. And okay, I, I love shopping. I do. I love shopping. I go to shopping events. I, I love it. But it's a little it's a little commercialized and it's you know not as free as it used to be and so I really want to see if things are you know still out there that are free that you can go see but anyway tangent <laughs> getting on that train and just going off rambling okay so we're gonna go to the island of Svarga and Svarga is a very old sim in Second Life and it has a very cool history, so buckle up and let's go to Svarga. And here we are in Svarga and sticking with the whole history of this particular sim, um, I have gone to region settings. So if the lighting changes during this, that's just because it's the second life sun doing its thing. Now, Svarga started in 2006. Um, I think it was the spring of 2006 from what I read. And the selling point of this sim, or why you would want to come here and check it out, is because it was a fully functioning ecosystem. I, I know what you're saying. What? You know, no way. Somebody came and... Uh, put plants down and stuff like that. Not so. Yes, the original owner did put down plants and everything, but these plants had seeds and pollen, and there were artificial clouds here that moved with the Second Life wind. And if you saw just behind me, some seeds popping out of that plant back there. Now, at this point, um, the bees don't come and take the pollen anymore. The seeds don't actually go anywhere or anything like that because in 2009, um, Svarga kind of disappeared from the map. Or it was here, but you couldn't get to it. It was offline. And in a very unprecedented move for Linden Lab, in 2010, they bought it and they put it back here and everything. Now, some things were gone. And it doesn't work the way that it used to, but it's part of Second Life history, so I thought that was a really cool move that they would save it. I don't think that they've done it since. I'm not sure if they ever would do it again, but um, but yeah, they came in and saved it. So let's 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 take off here. Let's okay. 
If you come to Sparka, you can take this tour. You can sit on this wasp and it'll fly you around the sim and it'll tell you some history. But we're just gonna walk today because we're also gonna get wet here. <laughs> but everything in Sparka um, is prim. There's no sculpts. There's I don't even think there's flexi, to be honest with you. Um, definitely no mesh. If you check out these flowers here, uh, that is all prim, baby. That is all prim. And it looks it. <laughs> but it's still very cool for what it was at the time to have a place that was so alive. You know, I have not seen anything in Second Life like that again. Um, the first time I came here was in 2006 or 2007, and, um, what, that prim is twisted? <laughs> I think, okay, seriously, that is the coolest part about prims. Like, people who could manipulate prims in a way to make everything look amazing, it was incredible. And I have, the last time I was here, I think it was 20. 12 possibly or no actually no I think it was 2010 after uh, Linden Lab bought it because I was like holy cow that place is still here <laughs> uh, yeah I think it was 2010 wow that's a long time ago but there's a place here I want to go to because I'm going to show you guys and this is kind of what I'm talking about with the Second Life Sun, the sundial works. And that's not shadows. I don't have shadows on. I don't have advanced lighting on or anything like that. It's, I'm just I'm just doing the, the regular sun thing. But how cool, right? So Svarga used to have bees. And the bees would actually carry the pollen around and drop it off in different places. Because there are different zones to Svarga that um, that different seeds would be able to plant. Okay, I'm really hoping this is still in here. If it's not, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> hey, it is! Oh my god, this was the coolest thing. <laughs> this is the Sarga Oracle. And if you pay 20 linden, you will get a reading so I don't know where this money goes I'm assuming it just goes back to uh, just goes back to Linden lab but I'm gonna pay it and I'm gonna get a reading okay reading 470 oppression consulting benefits for a superior avatar good fortune no trouble you speak but no one is listening hey Whatever, stupid oracle. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Seriously? Is that still in there? Oh my god, you guys. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, I'm a little overly excited. Okay. So, Robbie Dingo used to have a really cool um, musical store. And he made really great instruments and you can play them and all of this stuff so with these elven instruments you can have all your friends come and oh please tell me they still work oh my god they still work <laughs> yes oh my god how fun oh I can't believe those are still here that's so cool yeah, 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 you guys need to come and bring your friends and just, like, play these elven instruments. They're so much fun. I used to have a flute from his store. I play the flute in real life. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned that. But, um, I have a flute from, or had a flute from his store. And it was so cool, and it really played, and loved it. So, way back in the day, um, there used to be a store here, and you could buy stuff. It doesn't appear to be here anymore. 
from what I'm remembering, um, Sparta was one of the first, like, private islands. Because way, way back, everything used to be, um, mainland. And so you could just walk anywhere, or fly anywhere. And I think this was one of the first private islands. It always kind of amazed me how people could just make things with prims. I was never really great at, at building or anything like that. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> oh no. Okay, there used to be this store called Relic in Second Life and the owner was Baron Grayson. And he made the coolest furniture. I cannot believe some of it still exists. Oh my god. How cool! <laughs> okay, that probably just made nobody happy except me, but whatever. You guys, come on. What is this? Oh my god! These are old photo books! <gasps> what? Look! <laughs> Look at these old avatars! Oh my god! How cool! Abbott's Aerodome? What? Oh my god, I used to go there all the time and like skydive and stuff like that. My goodness. This is kind of amazing. And probably not for anybody else, but <laughs> for me it's amazing. I love old pictures. Honestly, if you have never really paid attention to Second Life history or anything like that, go to the wiki and just kind of check it out and um, see things and read about the way this place used to be because it's really kind of incredible. Just all the work and all the love and everything that has gone into this. Look, this is the old Sparta. The things that were here, which some still are, but some are not. Starax! Oh! Oh my god! If you guys don't know Starax, which you probably don't, oh my god, that's scary as heck. Let's not look at that. Um, <laughs> Starax used to make these incredible things, and um, if anybody has a Starax magic wand, please contact me. I want to do a video on that wand. I would love to be able to show people what that wand could do. Because it was, it was the neatest thing, and there were only so many that were ever made. And I don't even know how many people are still here in Second Life who still have one. But I would love to do a video with you showing off your wand and what it can do. I mean, yeah, you know what? Mesh is great. Mesh is fantastic. And mesh makes everything look wonderful. But... The way people used to be able to do stuff with prims, it was so neat. It was really cool to be able to do everything within Second Life and not have to go to an outside program, except maybe to do textures or something like that. Oh my goodness. So cool. Oh my gosh, I have to get out of here and I'm just gonna... Oh wait a minute, there's a joke. What do you call a hippo with measles? Hippospotamus. <laughs> okay, that's a dad joke. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but this place is just, it's so cool. And I'm so happy that it still exists because there are so many other places in Second Life that have gone away. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video, otherwise I could just stay here for an hour looking at pictures and checking out all the prims and all that sort of stuff, but nobody has time for an hour long video, so we're just going to end this. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment telling me a sim that you think that I would enjoy. Two requirements, it has to be free. And it has to not be primarily shopping. So those are my two requirements for checking out some Sims. But until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.